This is your CBS News Baltimore afternoon update for Thursday, September 21st. I'm Denise Koch. Baltimore's acting police commissioner Richard Worley and acting fire chief James Wallace are set to go in front of the city council for their confirmation hearings tonight. Mayor Scott nominated Worley for the commissioner role back in June. A month later, he tapped Wallace to serve as acting chief. Now, both of their contracts were delayed by the city spending board yesterday to give the council a chance to vet and then approve them first. The back-to-back -back hearings are set to begin today, 5 o'clock this evening. Police in Baltimore County investigating after people found anti-Semitic graffiti at a Jewish cemetery in Rosedale. A bright red swastika and other defaming graffiti were found spray-painted at the United Hebrew Cemetery off Hamilton Avenue. The discovery comes just days before Yom Kippur, one of the most important religious holidays on the Jewish calendar. Police say they are now investigating the case as a bias incident, meaning the, if police track down a suspect, that suspect could be charged with a hate crime. It makes me feel angry and also just really sad that someone had the gall to, to uh, spread this message and to vandalize a cemetery, which is supposed to be a, a, a solemn place of resting for someone. We need to stop spreading hate in this country. Across the county, another neighborhood was targeted in Timonium. A white supremacist sign was found at the intersection of York and Pedonia Roads. If you have any information about either of these incidents, you are asked to call Baltimore County Police. Well, Howard County students and parents may still be adjusting to their new schedules after school start times changed yesterday. The district is still dealing with bus issues, but says early assessments of the new schedules show improvement. In a new update, the district says all 500 plus of its bus routes are being covered with more students arriving to school on time. If you, however, are still experiencing a bus issue, the district has now launched a new online form where families and students can report transportation concerns. And we have a link to that form on our website, wjz.com. And that is your afternoon update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Denise Koch.